Hello, welcome to the IU Alumni Association's Emerging Alumni Leaders Spotlight Series. Today, I'm chatting with Zoe Berenstein, the secretary of the Chicago chapter of IUAA. Zoe graduated from IU Bloomington just last year in 2022, earning her BS in public affairs while majoring in nonprofit management and leadership, minoring in French and arts management. Zoe is also an alumna of the Student Fellow Program here at IUAA. Welcome, Zoe. Thank you, Caitlin. So what are some of your favorite memories from your time in Bloomington as a student and um, with student organization involvement or things like that? Yeah, well, it started off on a high note when I was in the Civic Leader Center as a freshman. So I was a student at the O'Neill School and it was just a really positive thing to have such a great community just going into IU. Um, and I was a, a tour guide and an Office of Admissions student ambassador. So sorry to sound um, like I'm giving a tour, but the great thing about IU is that you can make a really large and resourceful university smaller in different ways that work for you. So for me, that was Civic Leader Center. Otherwise, I loved being a tour guide. <laughs> And I really, really enjoyed giving tours and talking with prospective students as well as parents and kind of like sharing my love for IU. And one thing kind of led to another and I ended up finding the Student Fellows Program. And that was really cool for me because I got to see it from the other side. So I was doing a lot of work with prospective students, giving presentations and tours, but to work with alumni on the other side of the, you know, student experience, um, it just, it was very cool. And I, clearly like to talk about IU regardless of the audience. So it was just another um, outlet for that. No, that's awesome that you were able to see so many different sides of like the IU experience through your involvement. It's really cool. Um, so how do you think um, your role as a student fellow with IUAA inspired you to take on a leadership role at the IUAA Chicago chapter? And what do you hope to achieve in your role? Um, I think I was really lucky to to have the behind the scenes look into IUAA for two years as a junior and senior um, because I was an events intern so I worked on the events team and helped obviously run events um, just being a part of that and the fun that's had and the connections that are had um, I knew how fun it was and I basically didn't want to have FOMO. Like I just, I had seen it and I was like, I need to get involved with that as soon as I can. Um, I know some other people might find their way there in slightly more roundabout or some folks get involved, you know, a few years after graduation when they're starting to reflect upon maybe their experiences. Um, but I was really lucky that I already have seen it and I wanted to get my foot in the door pretty much immediately. So I saw um, in my email inbox that they were having a welcome to Chicago event, which was an event for any, you know, IU alum in Chicago that had either recently moved there or just wanted to hang out and like give advice to new newcomers. Um, and I attended the event and I had a lot of fun and connected with a few of the board members and Michael um, from IUAA. And we just kind of hit it off and went from there. And I knew that I actually was excited to be involved in any capacity, but they needed a secretary. And I think my skill set kind of lends itself well to a role like that. Um, and I'm doing it because I love IU and I want to connect with the IU community up here in Chicago, but it doesn't hurt that I'm also an alumni relations professional. And so those two aspects of my life can kind of feed into each other in different ways. Um, I'm certainly learning a lot from IU as uh, just a, a large university and a presence in the country, especially in Chicago. Obviously, there's so many of us, <laughs> but um, I'm learning a lot about that to take into De into my work at DePaul. And um, I'm also kind of cross, -re I cross referencing all the time and it's it's really helpful. But first and foremost, I'm doing it to have fun and to connect with with other um, IU people. <laughs> yeah. um, and finally, what advice would you give to a young IU alum wanting to get more involved with IUAA? in Chicago specifically? I would say to go for it and not be afraid of any type of, um, the word that's going to mind is clickiness. I don't know that that's the right term, but I think for me, my perception of boards in general or associations, and you hear about this all the time in Chicago, like there's so many different professional associations, um, social associations. Um, so I would just say, 
um, it's, it's not like that. It's board members. Some of them have been here for 10 years. Some of them like me have been here for a couple months and there's everyone in between and coming out of COVID, there's just a lot of room to refresh and rethink things. And it's like, now's the time to join in and kind of get to know everyone. And it's, um, it's literally supposed to be about connection. So, um, it's, it's, you know, it, it can be, it can be a really fun and safe space to do that. And I guess don't be intimidated would be my advice. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Zoe. I thought you had some great advice to give. Um, and I look forward to seeing what you accomplish at IUA Chicago and also as a career professional. I think you have a really awesome story. So thank you for talking today and participating in the Emerging Alumni series. Of course. Thank you, Caitlin. And go IU. <laughs> This video was brought to you by the IU Alumni Association.